And oh my god, another fucking bee! Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my curly hair staple products. I'm going to talk about what I do and what I use every time I wash my hair or when I style my hair, the products, and why I like them, why I don't like them, and what they claim to do. So my first product, or should I say tool, are my fingers. Big fingers. Um, I use them to detangle my hair in the shower when I'm washing my hair, when I'm detangling my hair. They're the perfect tool because I'm able to really feel tangles and like gradually take them apart. And because I can feel them, um, I don't just break through them and like not realize that they're there because I couldn't feel them if I was like using a comb or something. So those are like the first step to really like damaging my hair and detangling my hair. My next product is Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal Shampoo with Marula Oil and Biotin. I just started using this bottle. Um, I used to use um, Shea Moisture's Jamaican Castor Oil um, Shampoo, and I like that shampoo um, mostly because I had Biotin in it, but it kind of cl clarified my hair too much, made my hair feel a little dry. With this one, it actually makes my hair feel like still kind of moisturized, even though it's actually cleaning my hair, it still feels moisturized. Yeah, it just doesn't make my hair feel stripped. I don't like about this product, I would say, I guess it's that it's it's expensive. Um, I live in New York so everything's like super expensive um, where I buy my hair products. Um, if you want to find it cheaper you probably could go to like Walmart or Target get it maybe for like maybe even nine dollars ten dollars but this I think I bought this for like twelve dollars like eleven dollars the beauty supply store in New York City. Other than that I really do like this product and this is my staple cleanser. The next product I'm going to talk about is Aussie Moist and I love this bottle because it's big and it has a pump so I could just take as many pumps as I want and I definitely use a lot of this stuff because I use this as a, as a detangler. What it claims to do is it's called Aussie Moist so it's meant to moisturize your hair um, and revitalize your hair and it says moisturizes and quenches your dew. And I, I do think it does do what it claims to do. Um, it definitely moisturizes my hair and softens it so that it's easy for me to detangle it. The only thing that I guess I can't say, can say that I don't like about it is that it um, it's not like super like organic. Like it's not like a curly hair line like Shea Moisture or like the Diva Curl or whatever. It's just like a regular drugstore product you can get at CVS. But I mean whatever. If it does the job, it does the job. My next product that I love that I because I'm a definite definite new staple is Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System with Marul Oil and Biotin. It's a hair mask and it it claims the same things as the other one to age defy, color protect, hydrate, nourish, for soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive, body, strengthen, and shine. And oh my god, this stuff like <laughs> it is thick. Like it smells amazing. And so does the shampoo. It smells amazing and it's thick as I don't know what this is not gonna come out it's not gonna come out it's so thick and like you don't really need that much of it because it's so thick and just like slides right on it's thick and moisturizes my hair it's perfect mask or deep conditioner for your hair I don't even wash it out like I just leave it in like it's just like the perfect moisturizer As a sealant, this is, well, it's a uh, travel bottle that I put it in, but this is coconut oil. This is my favorite sealant um, out of all oils. 
Um, olive oil, I don't really like olive oil because it smells funny to me, but this is like, it smells amazing. I use it on my body, I use it on my hair. And after I finish shampooing and detangling and then deep conditioning, I then put this in my hair and then I leave all of that in overnight. And this just really locks in all that moisture. And it's just like amazing. Like I love coconut oil. It smells great and it feels great. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's expensive. Coconut oil is just expensive. Like it's just, it's an expensive oil. Now, the only thing, another thing I don't really like about it too is, I mean, some people like it like this, but I don't like it when it's watery. You have to like put it in the freezer or like wait till winter for it to like solidify. I like it solid um, when it's solidified because you know, like it's just it's creamier. I can feel like where it's going more. Like when I'm putting this on my hair and it's like and it's um it's in the state. Like it's hard to tell like where it is um because it, it feels like water to me. So I can't tell if it's water or if it's my coconut oil. So it claims to seal in moisture and that it does with exactly that. Next tool is now the comb, the wide tooth comb. Um, I love this comb because it has a point at the ends for like styling. Like if I want to do a style, like for instance, like this style, I like if you use only this side and you're trying to part your hair, it would take several times to part. Like I have to part in like several sections to do it. But with this rat tail comb, it allows me to just do it all in one swoop, and it's all like perfect. Exactly how you move is how the comb is gonna part your hair, and I really like that because it saves time on like beating up my scalp trying to make a perfect part especially if you're doing your hair yourself as far as the wide tooth part um my wide tooth comb isn't as wide as some teeth but it's still pretty wide and it's good for my hair at this length maybe when my hair is longer i'll upgrade to a wider tooth comb i usually detangle this after i get out the shower and my hair is already pretty much detangled it's just to like further detangle it the only thing i don't like about this comb is sometimes when they're when they get old they get chips in them from wear and tear and like sometimes when they get chips in them your hair will caught, catch on to the chips and so you have to be careful like when you start getting chips in them you gotta like get renew get a new one my next staple product is shea moisture of course coconut hibis and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oils for thick curly hair the claim to do is that it's anti-frizz um moisture it holds a moisture and shine and um i think it pretty much does all these these things and more like it definitely moisturizes my hair and it's thick and it makes my hair it leaves my hair feeling smelling amazing and it's great for like if you use gel because it will um keep the gel from getting crunchy like you know how to put gel in your hair it gets crunchy and hard and sometimes gel has the tendency to like feel like it's drying your hair out it doesn't it help if you put it underneath your gel it will like keep your hair from getting hard so my hair is like really soft really fluffy again the only thing reason why the only thing i don't like about this product and this i'm just going to be a continuing thing is the price like i wish natural hair products weren't so expensive but hey what it is what it is you do what you gotta do this is like gone up in price like over the years like in the last I've, i just started using this product a year ago and in a year alone it's gone up at least two dollars this product used to be at my beauty supply store probably like twelve dollars and now it's like fourteen dollars My next tool is my Demon brush. I love the Demon brush. Mm. This is my second Demon brush. My first one got old and started snagging. Kind of like a wide tooth comb started getting like cuts in it or like something about it started making it snag in my hair and I was like oh hell no. So um, I got a new one. This is like mm, a couple months old. I got this I think in May. I have my de other Demon brush for like two years. The 9 teeth. Some people like go in and take out a row of teeth, like skip a row and take it out so that it's not so um dense and like it tangle you know when you detangling it's not like little you know it's not it's a more of a wide tooth dem dem and brush and i might like I, I might do that when my hair is longer but right now this dem and brush is fine the way it is claims to do is um i don't know if this, it, it helps to tangle your hair of course but for curly hair when you take your hair and smooth it and rub the the um the rubber against your hair it makes your hair you know, define like the curls will define like crazy and it works like it really does if you really want to define your curls i recommend it more for girls who have shorter hair because when your hair is short you it, it doesn't matter it's short you know so you just want your hair to be really defined so you'll use your demon brush to help you define your curls and all that but when your hair starts to get long and you use this like if I use this on my hair now, my hair will shrink up to here. I'm not kidding. So I also use it on my texture in the front when my hair is straighter. Like my hair is all like a looser pattern in the front. So 
if I want the ends to curl I'll just like do that and it helps them curl more but it's still a staple product because I do still use this to tangle it like further the tangles after my well, after my fingers and after my wide tooth comb I use this to detangle my hair next staple product and this is like if I had to get rid of any product if I had to pick one product out of all my products to use and I couldn't use one styler ever again in life it'd be this one this, you can't, it's kinky curly curling custard and I took the label off because their packaging is annoying to take off that's like the first down I would say about kinky curly is they need to fix their cat packaging they have the seal going around the top and they tell you to cut the seal so when you cut it and you try to unravel it it's not an easy cut like it just starts pulling off the whole wrapper and it just is a hassle I love using this after my uh, Shea Moisture Curly Hair Smoothie, smoothie and it just really softens my hair and makes it just super like, like butter like it's just amazing I don't know how to explain it you have to use it to understand what I mean it just really makes the texture more manageable and like smooth and silky it's just like amazing like oh my god there's nothing I don't like about this product except that oh yes there is this is like thirty dollars thirty dollars for a jar of this okay thirty dollars this is like when I do my friends hair and stuff like that I this is the only product I won't add to their to their hair because I'm like unless you're trying to pay me a dollar a scoop I'm not using this in your hair sorry because this is expensive I'm sorry it's expensive and I mean it's worth it I okay, think it's worth it if I had not spent money on any other products I would spend only, only my money on this but at the same time it's just this little bottle like it's not even like a jar you know what I mean it's not like a, at least with coconut oil you could get a jar like a giant jar for $30 this no this is a little thing is $30 so I wish they made it in like bulk so you can like pay less or whatever but this stuff is the business. Even at my local beauty supply store, who was selling it for cheaper, they were selling it for seventy-six dollars. Now I went there; it's twenty-nine dollars. It's just twenty-nine dollars all around. It's crazy. Like, <sighs> but anyway, it's an amazing product, and it just provides so much slip, and it smells amazing, and just like vibrates off your hair. Like people will like walk by me, like, oh my god, you smell like freaking tropical island, like coconuts and like amazingness. It's just amazing. So yeah. My next staple styler is Eco, Eco Styler Gel, which is like pretty much all gone in this jar. This is the Argan Oil one. I like to use this more than I like to use the olive oil one, but I will use the olive oil one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Either one, it both does the same thing. It's for all hair types. It moisturizes hair and scalp, tames frizz, no flick, no tack, and anti-itch. As far as what it claims to do, I wouldn't say it moisturizes my hair because if I didn't use any moisturizer in my hair and I put this on my hair, my hair will get hard and feel dry. So I wouldn't say all that. It definitely tames frizz, definitely keeps your curls in check. Like, yeah, especially from edges. Like, I don't even need edge control. I mean, my hair is not the type that really needs edge, edge control like that, but I won't, don't even need edge control because it really, like, tames my edges. It says no tack. I wouldn't say that if you do use this on a lot of other products like I do, it does get kind of tacky after a while, so I wouldn't say that. No flake. Um, my hair doesn't really flake. It's more tack. Like, yeah, it's just the buildup of products on my hair from, you know, throughout, throughout the week. But, I mean, I wash my hair once a week, so it's not a big deal. And it doesn't have um any pair like it doesn't have any parabens in it or anything else unhealthy like like that dries out your hair alcohol is usually in gels that dries out your hair this does not have that and it's cheap that's another thing it's like this was like 2 dollars like really cheap gel and if you get the big jar oh you could get the big jar with like a handle for five dollars My next styling product is my brush. This is gross. I have to actually clean this one. But yeah, I use my brush as my staple product. I've had this brush forever. It's old. I don't even want to show you the front. It's dirty. Um, but yeah, like I use it to like, you know, style my front, style my edges. I don't really use it too much for my wash and goes because I can usually just use my fingers with that. But if I want to like, you know, make a style and flatten out my edges, this bristle brush is like the business. This wash and go will last me about a week. Let's just say I'm lazy and I don't feel like washing my hair that week and I'm just like whatever, I'm wearing a puff for the rest of the week. And next thing I know it's the next Saturday and I can go out and my hair's still in a puff and it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna do my hair. I'm not washing it today, like what I'm gonna do. I get some lagua and I spray that on my hair and it just like really just, like my all the products will just revitalize and just spray it on my hair and just shake it and go or just spray it to like get it wet again and then you know reapply just maybe one or two of the products just to help redefine my hair water is like just the main staple style and I'll just save the best for last so the spray bottle really 
yeah i love this spray bottle and i love la agua if you don't know water la agua la agua is spanish for water or the water or whatever that is the concludes my um curly hair staples products if you have any questions or concerns about my products or about my hair or anything else um, please leave a comment or anything or a question or anything in the description box and I will definitely get back to you and definitely respond. I try to respond to all my questions and comments and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.